So, here's a little piece I did way back in the day. Um, uh, for, for it, I need to... We're, we're up in the north. i got to go down south for this. So, <clears throat> How y'all doing tonight out there? Make some noise. Yeah, come on. Yeah, all right. Now, how many people out there are Star Trek fans tonight? Okay, uh, I wouldn't exactly consider myself to be a Trekker or a Trekkie. Now, a lot of people ask me, what exactly is the difference between a Trekker and a Trekkie? Well, best I can tell, a Trekker is a Star Trek fan. And a Trekkie is someone who insists that you should be calling them a Trekker. So, I don't know. You, you'll be telling that to your friends tomorrow, I guarantee it. Now, but the problem is, nowadays, it ain't just about Star Trek. Hell no, we got not only Star Trek, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and Enterprise, but we also got Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Clones, The Phantom Menace, Lost in Space, Babylon 5, Hercules, Xena, Toy Collecting, Farscape, Tripping the Rift. Hell, it's Fandelirium out there. So, you know, we got all these people out there walking around, and, you know, they just don't know if they're a Trekkie or not. So uh, I came up with a little list here to help them out. <laughs> Things like, uh, if you've ever shown up for jury duty in a Star Trek uniform, you might be a Trekkie. If you consider foam, latex, spirit gum, and chain mail a business expense, you might be a Trekkie. If you tell people that you're the alien clone love child of Mulder and Scully, that's next week on Jerry Springer, by the way. <laughs> You might be a Trekkie. If you ever woke up on a Sunday afternoon in full costume in a hotel lobby with a bottle of Jack Daniels in your hand, well, in that case, you might be a Klingon, but, um... But we're not going to get into that right now. Um, if you have a summer home in Roswell... You might be a Trekkie. If your eight-year-old owns less toys than you do, you might be a Trekkie. <laughs> if you ever mugged someone for their magic cards, you might be a Trekkie. If your dice have more sides than a Denny's menu, you might be a Trekkie. If you go to the Renaissance Festival and they won't let you leave, you might be a Trekkie. If George Lucas asks you to proofread his scripts for continuity errors. Hey, uh, George here on page 81. I just don't think Yoda would tell Obi-Wan to get jiggy with it. <laughs> and you're not serious about putting that Jar Jar character in there, are you? <laughs> you are? <laughs> you're the boss. Get her done. Okay. <laughs> If you have ever attempted the Jedi mind trick at the drive through window... That'll be 1327, sir. You won't be charging me for this food. I won't be charging you for this food. And you'll throw in some extra french fries. I'll throw in extra french fries. And you'll give me all 32 of the collectible Star Wars toys at once. All right. Thank you, drive through. Thank you, drive through. <laughs> Thank you. Or... If the Jedi mind trick has ever been attempted on you at the drive through window, like this. <laughs> that will be 1327, sir. These gifts or candidates will do fine. No, they won't. <laughs> These gift certificates will be fine. No, they won't. Who do you think you are waving your hand around Ronald McDonald? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. <laughs> If you ever attempted to talk your way out of a speeding ticket by explaining to the officer that you're just an illusion created by the Matrix. But officer, I had to keep driving faster than 50 miles an hour or my car would explode. You might be a most excellent Trekkie. If you ever set up a pup tent at 3 a.m. in front of Toys R Us, you might be a Trekkie. If your for wife and mother-in-law is the Dura sisters, you might be a Trekkie. If going to your room and falls descending below ground level, you might be a Trekkie. If you ever got drunk at a party with a lampshade on your head, walked around going, danger, Will Robinson, danger, danger, you might be a Trekkie. <laughs> if you claim to be the current incarnation of Doctor Who, you might be a Trekkie. If the bingo caller yells B5 and you say, shoot, I forgot to set my TiVo, you might be a Trekkie. If you ever had your girlfriend dress up as Xena or your boyfriend dress up as Gabrielle, 
you might be a truckie. And finally, if Leonard Nimoy ever said a sentence that contained both your name and the phrase restraining order, you just might be a Trekkie. Thank you very much. Live long and prosper, y'all. Woo! Thank you, Luke. Great Luke Ski. Thanks, Tom. You are the best. You guys saved our butt. <laughs>